What is up guys, Gabrus here. In this video I'm getting my hands on Omni, a still pretty young ROM maintained by some of the greatest Android developers out there. The two names I immediately recognize when watching the contributors list were Explodewield and Chainfire. Quoting from their website, the goal of Omni is to experiment with Android development because we enjoy it. This ROM already includes a plethora of interesting and sometimes unique features and it's still in active development. But now, that's enough talking. Let's get started. The Settings app has some new options to customize the user experience. The main ones are under the category Interface. Let's start from the top with the Bars option. The first option is Brightness Control, that lets the user adjust the brightness of the screen by scrolling horizontally on the status bar. This is not one of my favorite features, since it's not really precise and it can get on the way sometimes. Notification count shows a little symbol in the status bar near an icon to group the notifications from the same app. This is not visible because I had whole single notifications while doing this test. The network speed indicator is of great use when using mobile data. If you are familiar with the GNU Linux desktop, you'll notice it feels pretty much like a conkey. The network activity indicator is something I didn't really get. I didn't notice any change while testing it. The quick pull down option makes easier to access the quick settings menu, giving the possibility to deploy it with a swipe down from the selected side of the screen. My preference is right. The smart pull down feature lets the user decide to give priority to the quick settings menu instead of the notification tray, when this doesn't contain any notification or when it contains unswipeable notifications. OmniROM lets the user customize the quick setting tiles directly from the menu itself. Their size is also adjusted accordingly to the quantity of tiles visible. This feature can be disabled anytime using this specific option. Buttons and layout lets the user customize the navbar by changing the order of the buttons shown and by adding some extra ones, like menu and search. The quick launch shortcuts let the user reach specific actions or apps by swapping up from the navbar. The last action is long press back to kill app. This option is available in vanilla Android. It was originally in developer options, but OmniROM team probably thought that low-end devices with less than a gigabyte of RAM could use this feature and decided to make it more visible. The menus category is the place dedicated to the power menu. All of its customizations can be found there. There are also some nice options for the notification drawer. The contextual notification panel header is basically a little picture that replaces the top bar in notification tray. It changes accordingly to the time of the day. The quick swipe gesture gives the possibility to switch to the quick settings menu by swapping in the notification menu handle.
Finally, in the more category, there are two tweaks for the recent apps view. The clear all button closes all open apps in the ground with a single tap. The member indicator shows a monitor of the RAM usage, a handy feature for low-end devices with low system memory. In the sound menu there is the Quiet Towers option that lets the user disable the noises the device emits selectively. It is possible to disable notification tune, phone ringer and so on. OmniRom also has a tool to tune physical buttons behavior. This may come in handy. There is also the possibility to change the battery icon. It is possible to choose between bar and circle, both with optional percent indicator. The lock screen has its tweaks too. It is possible to have the widgets maximized when waking the device, to show a circle around the lock ring indicating the battery status, to set a slider shortcuts to see blurred the current activity through the lock screen. The performance settings are surprisingly detailed and well organized. The most basic features are shown by default while the more advanced ones can be revealed by activating the tabbed mode. The OmniRom team made also some applications to improve the overall user experience. Let's start with Documents. This app is part of the ROMs framework and allows users to perform simple file operations like copying, pasting and deleting files. The DSP manager looks to be based on the classic Synergen Mod 1. There are a few more features, a nicer icon and a cool sidebar navigation system. The built-in music app is Apollo, arguably one of the best open source music players available for Android. OmniSwitch is another unique feature of this ROM. This app offers a brand new way to multitask on Android, by using a little gesture-triggered pop-up window to switch from an app to another and to perform other multitasking actions.
So guys, this was Omnirom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press the like button if you did and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new video.